Good morning, everyone. I am Simanchal Panda. Uh, today uh, we will learn something about surface uh, surface active agent, and these are also known as the surfactant. So uh, surfactants are coming from the word of surface and tension. So any substance that will reduce the tension between the two uh, phases, those are known as the surface active agents. So surface active agents. Uh, are generally used to uh, reduce the surface tension between the two surfaces. Like we are commonly using some uh, chemicals uh, day in everyday life. Like uh, you are using uh, detergent powder. These are made up of uh, the surface active agent. They reduce the surface tension. And uh, sometimes we are using the utensil. Uh, we are cleaning the utensil by the help of some surface active agents. So that will reduce the tension between surface tension between the soily phase and the water phase. Whenever these are getting contact with the water phase, they will create the foam and they will reduce the surface tension from the uh, utensil and the oily phase and they will uh, they will cleanse easily. So generally, it has two type of um, uh, parts. We can tell it one is the hydrophilic part and second one is known as the hydro. Uh, phobic part or we can tell it in another way like lipophilic and lipophobic part so this consists of two chains uh, we can tell it as one of the polar head and non-polar tail so polar and will uh, attach to the polar head and non-polar head will attach to the non-polar and uh, it will start to reduce the surface tension between the two phases so what is surface active agent? So, a molecule that contains a polar portion and a non-polar portion is called surface active agent or surfactant. A surfactant can interact with the both polar and the non-polar molecules. Uh, surfactant increase, increases the solubility of, of otherwise insoluble substance. Uh, if you are taking any kind of substance that is not getting easily soluble, at that time if you are using some amount of surfactant that will, uh, that will decrease the surface tension between phase and it will enhance the solubility. The common example we can get as the suspending agents we are using for the, uh, for the formulation of suspension. Emulsifying agent we are using for the preparation of emulsion. These are the good examples of surface active agents. So in water surfactant molecules tend to cluster into a spherical geometry and non-polar ends on the inside of the sphere polar and the outside these clusters are known as the micelles. So we can see that the polar attract to the polar end and non-polar attract toward the non-polar end. Uh, whenever they are come close to each other, polar will uh, get contact with the polar. They will attract like positive end will add, uh, that will attract toward the negative and negative will attach to attract to the positive. And similarly, by making a uh, when they will come close to each other, they will make a spherical shape and the polar end will uh, they will oriented to the polar ends and the non-polar migrate toward the non-polar and the small polar is known as the micelle formation. So surfactant having the, um, the amphipathic structures tail or the hydrophobic group little affinity for the bulk solvent usually a hydrocarbon uh, chain in the aqueous solvent can be linear or branched. Had or hydrophilic group strong affinity for the bulk solvent can be neutral or the so we can see uh, here the structure of the surfactant. One you can see the hydrophilic head are moving toward the height. Uh, they are oriented one side, and the hydrophobic tail. These are the hydrocarbon chains. So the both type of characteristics we can get uh, when uh, that uh, the polar in nature as well as the non-polar nature. Uh, non-polar nature. Non-polar nature by the hydrophobic tail, and uh, we can see this uh, hydrophobic head is for the is a polar reason. So these are the different type of properties. Uh, surfactant reduce the surface tension of water by absorbing the liquid gas interface and many surfactant can also assemble in the bulk solution into ag aggregates. Example of such aggregates are vesicles and micelles. Thermodynamics or the surfactant systems are of the great importance theoretically and practically. Surfactant play an important role as cleansing, wetting, dispensing, emulsifying, foaming, as I told earlier, anti foaming agents as the practical applications and the products. There are different types of uh, surfactants are there like anionic, cationic, non ionic, and the tutor ionic. So, anionic surf uh, surfactants are those. 
based on the permanent uh, ions, pH dependent uh, ions. Uh, like we can see that sulfates, alkyl sulfate, uh, sulfonates like sulfur, uh, sulfonate uh, fluoro surfactants, alkyl benzene uh, sulfonates, uh, phosphates, alkyl aryl ether phosphate, alkyl ether carboxylates, uh, alkyl carboxylate. And like this, these are some anionic surfactant, whether these are having the anionic in nature. So, next one is the cationic surfactant. We can see the uh, cattle CPC, POEA, PAC, PHT. These are the different cationic surfactant based on the pH dependent primary, secondary, or the tertiary amines. Primary amines become positively charged at the pH of uh, less than 10 pH, and secondary amines become charged at the pH of uh, less than 4. So, these are the few examples of cations. So, tutorials they have the both type of nature positive and negative depending upon the pH. So, certain amino acids we know that amino uh, C double O minus and that uh, acid groups are there CO minus and NSP plus. So they have the, the depending upon the numbers, they may be positive or they may be negative. Amino acids, uh, betaines, uh, lecithins, these are certain examples of amphotheric channels. So there are certain uh, non ionic are also there like fatty acids, uh, polyoxypropyl glycol, glucosides. Uh, like these are some non ionic, they don't possess any kind of uh, ionic nature, generally they are having some uh, somewhat neutral in nature. So, HLP scale, uh, in order to measure the hydrophilicity and lipophilicity, uh, this uh, is the hydrophilic lipophilic balance, and uh, we can know the behavior of the polar and the non polar medium. HLP number range from the 0 to 40, and from that uh, we can assign surfactant based on the emulsification data. So, we can see. Uh, if uh, no dispersivity in water, the HLB spoil is uh, nearly uh, zero. So, if anti foaming agent it is uh, two, water and oil emulsifier it is six, a wetting agent it is eight, milky dispersant ten, oil in water emulsifier that is twelve, clear solution fourteen, detergent sixteen, solubilizer eighteen. So, these are the different value for the HLB scales. So these are different calculation method for the uh, HLB scale. HLB is E divided by 5 where the E is the percentage of weight of uh, ethylene oxide as is the saponification number and A is the acid number of the fatty acid. When we are going for the calculation, HLB is equal to 20 minus 1 minus S divided by A. So S is uh, the saponification number, A is the acid number. So mycelium formation, I have told earlier, as uh, they come close to each other, if you are using the small amount of surface active agent, the polar head will uh, remain as it is, it will move uh, freely. Whenever we are adding frequently more uh, ions, uh, surfactant, so the polar end will attract to the polar end and they will close together uh, to arrange themselves and the non-polar end will uh, migrate to the non-polar and they will, uh, they will form the mycelium. So, micelle is nothing but the colonies formed by the surface active agent. Whenever they will fuse together to make a uh, surface, and it is just a uh, we can tell this is just like a globe formation. When the, the sphere formation, the polar end will orient it toward the polar and non polar tail will migrate toward the non polar tail and the minimum energy uh, formation is the sphere and this is known as the micelle once the micelle is formed the solubility is drastically decreased you can see that whenever uh, we can see when particles are present uh, if you are using the surface active agent, they will orient it towards themselves and we can see the polar head are moving towards the polar head and non-polar head will uh, migrate towards the non-polar as this uh, may be formed or we can see these polar heads are getting contact to each other. See this is the micelle formation. Once they will orient like the polar will attract towards the polar and the polar heads will be attracting together and at the minimum energy stage it will be just like a sphere and the non-polar tail will migrate for the non-polar tail. 
So in the surface activation, we are using at the less amount at the surface. They will reduce the surface tension like this. But after they will form the micellae, immediately now we can see the solubility is getting reduced at the mice once the micellae is formed. The point at which the micellae is formed is known as the total. Uh, CMC critical micellar concentration. The polar heads, you can see the polar heads are moving toward the polar and non polar are oriented toward the non polar either this way or this way. We can see the polar heads are moving inside and the non polar are moving outside. So these are the hydrophob hydrophobic head. Here we can see that. Okay, hydrophilic heads and these are the hydrophobic tails. So once this is formed, this is known as the micellar. So, there are the different uses of surfactant like detergent, fabric uh, softeners, emulsifying agents, and uh, emulsions, paint, adhesives, ink, uh, ink fog, suspending agents, and suspend uh, laxatives. So, these are the basic about this surface active agents. Thank you very much.